if you thought that dating in 2024 as a man was going to get any better, you were wrong. <laughs> Today, we're going to take a look at a couple of speed dating videos and see what it's like to be an eligible bachelor, a man who has his stuff together here, and what the available pool of women looks like. Let's go ahead and jump straight into this video. Welcome to the Mind of Moon Dog. Do you already have kids? Is my question. Yes, I already have children mm -hmm. and I do not want any more. Okay. Well, that's one that's got kids already. Let's find out who else might have some. Yes, I do have two kids, two boys, and I don't want any more either. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, back to back women, they got multiple kids and presumably in their late 20s, maybe early 30s. I'm maybe being a little generous here, but they're, they're young and they got their kids and, and then they don't even want any more. Nope, I have no kids, just fur babies. That's about it. <laughs> I respect it, yeah. Seven, to okay. be exact. Seven. Damn. Yeah, seven. Damn. What does this consist of? Um, yeah, let's so do So I have six multi pools and a Chihuahua slash German Shepherd mix. Yeah. Are all the poodles related? <laughs> um, yes, two of them are the parents. So I have the mother and the Got father. You. And okay. then I have, unfortunately, the puppies that I, Got you. Uh, okay. I was unable to get oh, sold. That. I mean, I guess at least they're not cats. You know, I thought maybe there for a second she was going to say she had like seven cats. I'm like, oh, you're just preparing for life down the road it was you were trying to start early but no i mean at least they're dogs makes um, sense and then i kind of got used to them i had them for a while so i you know they're family now so okay. those okay. are my babies <laughs> again i respect your answer i did that <laughs> all right well, let's go right down here i do have children i have mm -hmm. three children okay. and they are young adults okay and i am not looking to have any more okay it is my now let's take a look at this from the remaining women here that had their balloons out. Cause the way this works is uh, the, the guy will talk about himself and then women will pop a balloon if they're not interested. So they kind of self eliminate, which is fine, right? But look at who's left over. The leftovers, I'm gonna keep it a buck. The leftovers here are the women that got kids or the one weirdo that has seven dogs, right? These are not the most highly desirable pool uh, in the dating pool, because as a man, especially here, let me be clear. If you're a man that doesn't have children already, you don't want to date and get involved with a woman that already has children. It is problematic for so many reasons. We've talked about it before. I don't want to talk about it in this video, but just don't do it because you're just opening yourself up to taking on responsibilities, which you are not really responsible for. You didn't, bur you didn't uh, have those kids are not from you. And here you are on the hook for them financially. Don't do it. Don't do it. But again, look at the landscape here of the women that are left and the ones that have balloons all have kids so far. My time. I'm I hear you. Done. You're I'm right. Traveling. Yes. I'm traveling. You in, hey, you in your era. Yes. I ain't going to hold you. I'm, I feel it. Yeah. <laughs> I have paid my debt to society. Okay. okay. I have made my contribution. I hear you. That's it. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So based off of that. What are we going with? And you got that toothpick on your ear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I ain't uh -huh. forget it. I ain't forget it. Um, two more or just one more? Yeah, let's go with two more. Now, this is crazy here because he's about to pick from the remaining leftovers who he actually wants to, you know, potentially date. And then that woman has to then say whether or not it's reciprocal. She wants to date him. So let's find out how this all ends. Okay. So, Ashley, did you have any questions to determine if this is someone you do want to proceed with? Yes, I do. Do you want children? Yes. I'm not having no baby. I know, I know. I'm so and that's largely what the experience is for a single childless man in 2024. But wait, folks, we've got more. Over here. Hello. Welcome in. So right off the bat, when the man comes in, the bachelor comes in, they self-eliminate if they're not physically attracted to him. So that's why all the balloons are going off here. But what we really want to focus on this uh, clip is the fact that you can have something going on for yourself as a man, have a stable job, uh, a respectable career and all of that. And there are women who don't even care about that, that they will still look at you as you're beneath them, that what you do isn't good enough. All right. My name is Terrence. I'm from Alabama. I'm an electrician. I saw a DJ and I also uh, do 
battery work on cars. Okay, all right. So we're just gonna go up to some of the ladies that ended up popping their balloon. We can get your name, how old you are, what you do, and why you popped your balloon. I'm Serge Ronell, I'm 24 and a medical specialist. And why, okay. <laughs> Um, first, you're short, and I'm a tall girl. I like six foot and up. Okay. Two, I don't do dreads. And then your electrician. I'm thinking about, like, businessman, doctor, lawyer. Yo, see, this is where the problem lies. You have women that are so disconnected, have no concept of, like, these careers. They only know that unless you're an entrepreneur, a doctor or a lawyer that every other career can't possibly make any kind of a money when in reality an electrician any kind of a trade worker for that matter you know you do flooring you do roofing you do uh whatever uh uh you know contractor whatever the case may be yes these are laborious jobs they might not look and have the glitz and glamour of a lawyer or a doctor you know that prestige but goddamn, these are actually very respectable jobs that can bring in a lot of money as well. These are jobs that that they won't suffer from an ec economic downturn, perhaps, right? They're always going to be jobs in demand for, for labor, for trades. We're talking about people that can do really well for themselves. They're going to be unionized in most cases. They're going to have pensions. Like They're going to have a lot to offer in terms of stability, medical, dental coverage, on top of the fact that these same people can start working for a company, might start at 50, 60, 70K, but over time, they can elevate themselves, become top tier earners, make six figures. Never mind the fact that some of these folks might, might even branch off and pursue owning their own electrical company or their own roofing company, which then even expands that income level even more. It, women are really out of touch here with professions and men's professions. And especially when it comes to looking at some of these professions that men have and thinking that they are unworthy, that they're bottom of the barrel, like, oh, you're beneath me. It's a wild concept. And yet here it is proof that you have women that look down at men in their careers. Lawyer, because I'm trying to like find a man who could provide for my kids and provide for me. You know what I'm saying? And I just, and you're from Alabama. I heard of things about Alabama. I'm from New York. So, no, thank you. On top of that, she's just all around an entitled cunt, to be honest with you. Just the whole vibe of her uh, talking about I'm from New York, you're from Alabama. Like, what kind of. Yeah, it's even wilder. It's like a black woman saying it to a black man is even wilder. Let's keep it a buck. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's super wild. Mm -mm. What you hear about Alabama? I feel like Alabama, you know. I don't think know. you want to know. Let us know. What, what have you heard? Uh, um, you could probably marry your sister. <laughs> what? Did she really say that? That's crazy. Even though the women in here looking like, yo, you you what? Did you really just say that? <laughs> so, I, 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 it's, a, it's a little, I've been there. It's a little weird over there. So, no, thank you. Okay. She coming for your people. I know, I know. <laughs> I can't even let her go. Like yeah. <laughs> okay, and is she somebody that you would approach? Is she your type? Like, anything you like, don't like? No, I don't think I like her attitude. I don't like the attitude. I think you think you're a little up there. I mean... Hey, yo, like, he's been really nice about it because cause I think anybody else would have been like, bitch, you're stuck up. Like, you are feeling yourself when you're really not all that. Like, where are your lips at, first of all? Your lips done gone away. How? How? Where are your lips at? We got to get that. <laughs> I don't even advocate for any of that, uh, uh, any kind of medical procedures, Botox and all that other stuff. But she's a prime candidate for getting some of that stuff. Let's keep it a buck. No, I think you think I'm up there. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. Yes, you do. So why would you assume that? Well, I just feel like for you to just say that, talk down about Alabama, you don't know. I, I, I feel like, no. I definitely think you ought to do more research or whatever. I did. That like That's my job, let's to research. And I researched y'all and I didn't like it. Okay. Well, yeah. no, I definitely wouldn't talk to you, though. No, no it's okay. Yeah. So just the attitude. Yeah, and she's not that cute either. So. Oh, okay. Oh. She's not cute either. <laughs> okay. You know that one stung, you know what I'm saying? See, when women say, a man, you, know, you don't look good, you're not cute, it don't phase us. We're not held to a beauty standard in the same way that women are. When you say a woman, you know, you're not cute, oh, that's like a... That's like a stab to the heart. That really hurts. That hits deep. You know, that one stings. And they, and their only clap back is, well, you're not good looking either. And most time women are, 
beauty, a man's beauty isn't a big factor in whether or not a woman sees a man as attractive. It plays a part in it, but there's many other things like his finances, uh, you know, how tall he is and all that stuff, what he, sta what he stands on. But as far as looks, there's plenty of men that don't look the greatest that got a baddie. You know what I'm saying? It's because he has a lot of other things to offer. He's funny. He's charming. He's caring. He's packing, you know what I'm saying? Like, like that. Anyway, that's a wrap on this video. I feel bad for all y'all out here trying to date. I mean, the, the dating pool for men, especially single men, and if you don't got any kids, bro, y'all, I feel for y'all, man. It's tough out here. Just stay up, man. Vet as best you can to know exactly who you're dealing with is my, my number one thing. I tell guys all the time, you got to vet them. You got to go find out their social, go through it. I'm not saying stalk it, but just go through and get a sense of what they're talking about, what their personality is, because a lot of times it's going to come through, through their social media posts, you know, the things that they're talking about, what they're replying to says a lot about where they're at in their mindset. And you can really get a, uh, get a good gauge on that woman and let you know whether or not it's someone that you want to invest your time and resources into, man. Because right now, 2024, we're already off to a crazy start. It looks like we're going to have to deal with more of the same craziness in the dating scene. I wish y'all the best of luck. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel. I'll see y'all in the next one.